Commercial X22i. This is the incline assembly. This is what makes the track go up and down and up and down up to that like 40 degree angle. So it actually, I've already taken it apart a little bit. This goes on there like that. There's a hole right here. This is actually for the top. It's actually upside down. So it sits like that. That, that well, not upside down. The treadmill's upside down right now. So this would be the hole right here is the bottom. And then this is actually affixed to the track assembly. And this is what pushes as this screws out. Well, actually, there's actually a, some gears in there which just push this out back in out that's what actually raises the track um, I already took a lot of the screws out there's just six machine screws in here and then this whole assembly comes apart I can't take it fully apart because this is on the end there and there's a bolt on the end there so I'm not but I'm not gonna worry about it too much standard looks like we got o-ring in there. This is one of our gear reductions. It's about the cheapest thing possible. So we have our motor right here. Which is our drive right there with the helical gear. That actually interfaces with that smaller gear there, which also turns the bigger gear. Hold on, I'm trying to get this back together a little bit here. There. So you can you can kind of see the helical gear interfaces. Well, actually, I'm sorry, it interfaces with that big gear on the top there, which then turns that turns that little little yellow gear, which then turns the big green gear, and then the little green gear, which turns the white gear, which is what turns this. And then there's a on the other side here. Looks like there's a magnetic sensor. So as it rotates, something on here indicates where it is. Oh, there it is. Pull it. This looks like it comes off here. Hold on. Anyways, I'm not going to try to take that off. You can see there's probably a, there's a magnetic sensor in here on the back of this white gear. There's probably an indexed magnetic ring. So as it spins around, it knows where it is, so it can count its revolutions. Um, cheap, ubiquitous, looks like, looks like everything's fine. I don't see any wear. The issue was the incline isn't inclining, um, but, you know, motor spins freely, helical gear looks okay. I don't see any, um, like metal, I don't see any missing teeth, I don't see anything, so it might be that magnetic sensor, I don't know, might have just needed to be taken apart, sometimes they get gummed up, um, there was no, no grease on it, all the grease had been pushed to the side and stuck in corners and stuff like that, so they probably just blobbed some on here when they put it together, um, you can see it's all in that white gear, it's just packed in there, not doing anything, um, so yeah, we'll put it back together, see what it does, see if it works. Maybe sometimes it just needs to be taken apart and put back together. Um, so anyways, that's the inside of the treadmill lift assembly. So put it back together and see if she works.